The Phoenix Coding Academy's robotics team is underfunded and they've been using borrowed and used robot parts, but that didn't stop the underdogs from becoming the big dogs at a recent robotics competition in California where they actually won the championship. The Phoenix Coding Academy is used to the science and technology of robotics, but they didn't have a lot of confidence going into a robotics competition in LA. Before you went to this competition, what was in, in conversations, uh, where did you guys think you would place? Our first robotics team, they went to LA and they got the last, so we were hoping to get higher than what they did. <laughs> <laughs> so the bar was pretty low. Yeah, it was very low. We were hoping second to last, minimum, have a good time, yes. compete well. And when they got to the competition, it didn't change. They felt outmatched. Where California, they have lots of funding, lots of tech sponsors, where it's hard for us. And we're like trying to get as much funders as we can to provide for our competitions. During the qualifiers, which is team versus team, Phoenix Coding placed 13th out of 44 teams well enough to bolster their belief, but not well enough to be selected to move on. So when uh, they're choosing their alliances and their teams, uh, we were hoping to get chosen, but we didn't get chosen sadly. So we were all with a sad face and going to go eat lunch. However, when they returned from lunch, the number one team ran into some technical problems. Their robot broke. So their whole left part of the robot, their, uh, their chassis, uh, it broke down and wasn't able to move at all. And that's when Phoenix Coding got their big break. They were subbed in to compete again. So we have to prepare instantly, be like, all right, we have to, there's no room for error. We have to pick it up. We have to go in. And it's a lot, of, it's a lot of anxiety, you know. That anxiety fueled them in the field. Working as a team, Phoenix Coding came out on top, winning the competition. <laughs> We're really proud of ourselves because uh, our last year's competition, we didn't do so well. And, but I feel like this year we did a lot better. And playing a big role in building their futures. With you doing so well, how does that uh, bolster you guys education-wise? I mean, does it leave you with much more of an appetite to continue down the STEM avenue? And Definitely. Some of us have been doing this competition for a handful of years now. Some of us are just starting up this year. And so it... Each year you're like, oh, we're just building to build, we're just doing, but then when you get there to the competitions and you compete, you really feel that um, inspiration to like, wow, this is so much bigger than we thought it could be. So cool, it's so exciting. Right? <laughs> yeah. I, I described them as the bad news bears of there robotics and they came out on exactly. top. Exactly. So this win from that competition that made them eligible yeah. for the world championships. Oh, cool. Just this week, they got the call. They made it oh, to the no World way. Championships. They will be playing in uh, Houston, Texas next month oh, for the World gosh. Championships. Well, so we'll, we wish them well. We'll have to get an update on their success out there. For sure.